Now, back in summer 2021, we did an update for Agonizer Synthesizer called Neon Nightmare. In it, we brought some upgrades for the Vobulator, and we also added an inner purchase for the Neon Nightmare preset pack. And for that preset pack, I was inspired by cyberpunk music. <laughs> Well, this time and for these presets, I've been inspired by synthwave music and movie music from the 80s. pack is called Chrome Oasis and it contains 64 presets. However, there is something different about them. You see, I've broken away from the Agonizer bass synthesis mold. And what does that actually mean? Well, if you check the original 144 factory presets, and if you add the Neon Nightmare preset pack on top of it, well, you get 244 bass presets. They were all designed for that because that's what Agonizer is. However, the Chrome Oasis preset pack completely breaks away from that because I've designed all of these to be played as lead and pad sound presets. Now you can find the preset pack by going through the shop button or you could just open up the preset browser, scroll down to the Chrome Oasis preset pack and go through the purchase there. Now while going through the new Chrome Oasis presets, you might find that some of them has this little emoji after the preset name. I put them there to keep track of the presets in where I was using noise to modulate certain features in those presets. That's right, we have actually done a little update to the synth itself. We've added noise to the LFO section. Now, when you're choosing the noise, you are sacrificing being able to use the LFO as an actual LFO. But what you can do with this is to make stuff sound more analog-like. And that's what I always use noise for. I use it often to modulate stuff like volume or drive to make stuff sound analog. Try it yourself by switching the waveform selector over to noise on the LFO, go to the mangle section and long press on the drive knob. Up the LFO the tiniest amount and there you go, more analog-like. Another thing you can do with noise modulation is to add a bit of modulation to something like tuning to make the pitch wobble unpredictably. This is something that also adds a bit of an analog touch to sound. Now, if you're a previous owner of Agonizer Synthesizer, you'll get access to this little noise modulation option, even if you don't buy the Chrome Oasis preset pack. You won't have to pay anything for the update, it's free. Just go and update on your iPhone or on your iPad and you'll have it. Now, for those of you who do not own Agonizer Synthesizer, well, you can grab it right now, 50% off, that's right, half price, and you just have to go and grab it through the link down below in the pinned comment. Now, if you need any tutorial videos, any update vids, or if you want to find out the history behind Agonizer Synthesizer and how it was made, then just check that playlist link. Now, we have more ideas for Agonizer in the future, so stay tuned. And for those of you who already own Agonizer Synthesizer, thank you so much for your support. You don't know how much it means to both me and Kai Aras. We spent a lot of time sculpting Agonizer Synth and we'll probably continue to do just that. 
In the meantime, all comments and ratings are very much appreciated. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun adding noise modulation to your patches. Mm -hmm.